So, a stunning shift is unfolding in the battery world. CL, the global leader in lithium batteries, has dropped a bombshell. Nearly half of the future battery market could be powered not by lithium, but by sodium. That's the twist. Because honestly, if anyone should be championing lithium, it's CL. Yet, the biggest name in lithium production is now betting big on an alternative, and that alone tells us lithium's dominance may not be as unshakable as once believed. Sodium ion batteries bring a lot to the table. Performance that rivals lithium at a fraction of the cost, with salt being far more abundant and accessible. It's no wonder CL and others are pushing toward mass production. But the big question hangs in the air. Will sodium truly spark the next energy revolution, or will it forever remain in lithium's shadow? CL isn't just another player, it's the undisputed giant, holding nearly 40% of the global market as of 2023. With that kind of influence, their vision of the future isn't just speculation, it's a roadmap the industry takes seriously. In a headline-making interview with Reuters in late 2024, CL co-founder Robin Zen flipped the script on battery hype. Instead of backing solid state as the next big thing, he doubled down on sodium ion, boldly predicting it could capture up to half of the market CL already dominates. And this isn't just talk. CL has already cracked the code on integrating sodium batteries into its innovative hybrid packs, blending lithium and sodium cells to stretch the range of electric vehicles further than ever before. The sodium future isn't coming someday, it's already starting to roll out. Such a breakthrough is particularly notable considering that the fundamental drawback of sodium is its lower energy density, something that typically means heavier and bulkier battery configurations. From this achievement, CL continues to reinforce its technological breakthroughs. The company is preparing to roll out its second-generation sodium battery in the latter part of this year, with an energy density of over 200 watt-hours per kilogram. But CL isn't alone in this revolution. Other firms around the world are also racing to boost sodium-ion battery production capacity, positioning themselves for what appears to be an inevitable large-scale market shift. The question is, therefore, whether or not sodium batteries really are the future of battery science, and if so, what specific hope Robin Zen and the industry in general have for this new technology? Because while lithium continues to dominate the spotlight, sodium is quietly checking every box that matters. Cost, abundance, safety, and scalability. So what exactly makes this humble element such a strong contender in the battery race? The underlying principles of sodium-ion batteries are a very basic technological breakthrough. The novel power storage units bear a remarkable resemblance to their lithium-based counterparts, sharing the same structural characteristics and reflecting the architecture of conventional lithium-ion batteries. Yet, this extremely significant technological advancement is not entirely devoid of inherent limitations. Sodium ion batteries possess a lower energy density than their lithium ion counterpart. This particular aspect has until now restricted their everyday application across numerous industries and fields. An apt question still lingers, however. Why has the battery industry been taking such great interest in the development of sodium ion technology when it is only nearly as good as the most widely utilized lithium based options and still carries performance shortfalls that cannot be overlooked? A good reason that first comes to mind is sodium itself, an element with many qualities and characteristics more than worthy of admiration. Its excellent abundance can readily be observed in the sheer quantities that exist in the vast expanses of the world's oceans. Also, the process used for sodium harvesting is much more accessible and environmentally friendly, negating the destructive and catastrophic mining techniques currently adopted to harvest lithium and other precious metallic elements. On the other hand, bankruptcy proceedings always affect stakeholder trust and raise serious questions regarding underlying business realities. The question now is whether this development is merely an exercise in financial maneuvering or represents more basic structural issues within the firm. 
with energy density concerns and falling lithium prices tilting the scales, could this be a bubble waiting to burst? Or are we simply watching the painful early steps of a revolution in the making? Sodium ion batteries represent an interesting technological frontier in the rapidly evolving electric vehicle landscape. While industry titans CL, BYD, and Natron are at the forefront, my skepticism regarding their short-term viability in EV applications is unflappable. The root issue is energy density, a critical metric where sodium ion batteries consistently trail lithium batteries with much lower power to weight ratios. The economic dynamics behind the production of sodium ion batteries present an interesting paradox. Even though they incorporate more affordable materials in their manufacture, the batteries themselves have a higher cost per unit of stored energy due to their lower energy density. Even though the differential cost that lower cost componentry produces will presumably even out eventually, things are currently quite different. On top of this, the recent sharp 70% fall in lithium prices over the past three years, driven by oversupply, has seriously undermined the economic case for sodium ion technology. More recent academic research offers enlightening data on the present state of sodium ion battery technology. In February of 2025, Columbia University's Dr. Dan Steingart reported findings in Science Magazine indicating a fundamental scalability issue. Sodium ion manufacturers today do not have the requisite manufacturing scale to take advantage of economies of scale. This perspective was reinforced by a January 2025 Stanford analysis of the commercial viability path for SIBs, or sodium ion batteries, that concluded that becoming cost competitive is highly unlikely. Moreover, lithium continues to be the market leader in many industrial applications due to its existing base of supplies and manufacturing infrastructure. Even with sodium ion batteries offering plug-and-play compatibility, Altering both production and consumer preference will take some time. This head start is not insignificant. Aided by the immense manufacturing muscle and supply chain expertise of the world's leading battery producers like CATL, who are actively integrating them into products, this compressed deployment timeline grants sodium ion batteries a critical lead. This advantage is most pronounced in specific applications, where their inherent strengths can shine. For stationary battery energy storage systems, or BESS for short, the technological readiness of sodium ion batteries is remarkably high, arguably at a level 9 on the standard scale. In these applications, the factors of weight and size or energy density are far less critical than they are in an electric vehicle. Instead, the priorities shift overwhelmingly to cost, safety, cycle life, and raw material sustainability. Here, sodium ion batteries, non-flammable chemistry, exceptional abundance of materials, and potential for lower long-term cost become decisive advantages. They offer a compelling solution for grid storage, backup power for telecommunications, and commercial energy management without the supply chain anxieties and ethical concerns associated with cobalt and lithium. For the electric vehicle market, however, the readiness level is indeed slightly lower, primarily due to the energy density gap. Yet, even here, their role is becoming clearer. They are not necessarily destined to replace high-performance lithium-ion packs in premium, long-range vehicles in the immediate future. Instead, their ideal niche may be in lower-cost urban commuter cars, electric scooters, micro-mobility solutions, and hybrid packs, where they can effectively supplement lithium-ion to reduce overall cost without sacrificing range. While sodium-ion batteries certainly face some big hurdles to clear, namely achieving true cost parity at scale, and, you know, continuing to innovate on energy density, their issues actually appear more solvable from an engineering and chemistry standpoint than the fundamental instability or manufacturing complexities that are plaguing other next-generation contenders. 
If the industry can successfully navigate these scaling barriers and keep up the current trajectory of rapid energy density improvement, sodium ion technology could indeed become the crucial, complementary change that our diversifying energy system so sorely requires. It promises a more resilient, geographically distributed, and ethically sourced foundation for our electrified future. That being said, the future is not yet written. The recent plunge in lithium prices has, without a doubt, altered the economic calculus and, well, consumer perception remains a pretty powerful force. So, we turn the question over to you. Given this complex interplay of advantages and obstacles, what is your informed opinion? Do you believe sodium ion batteries have sufficient, unique potential to secure substantial and lasting market traction, carving out a permanent and growing segment alongside lithium? Or will they remain a niche player, ultimately overshadowed by further breakthroughs in lithium-based chemistry or maybe a different technology entirely? The debate is open, and your perspective is a valuable part of it. Thank you for watching and engaging with this critical discussion on the future of energy storage.